Okay, uh, uh, my name is Norman Panola. Um, uh, I'd say my uh, most memorable uh, Filipino uh, highlight would be um, winning uh, the Four P NABA uh, 2006, 7, 8, and 9. Jeez. Wow. Uh, so <laughs> I played in NABA. I know how hard it is. We're too. back to back to back to back. Um, Chicago Falcons, right here. Shout the out. jersey right, right there. All right. And uh, yeah. And, Vince, I think it was a, my teammate for I think two of two of those years or three. Yeah, and I was on the bench, yeah. but um, yeah, that was me. yeah <laughs> still there. moment. Though. It's <laughs> still fun. Yeah. It's still fun. Um, yeah, so Vince um, play on the same team as Norman Scarborough Falcons. Shout out to Tito Nestor right there. Built that from the ground up. So um, really proud of that jersey there, um, straight from Scarborough. And my highlight of my probably my Filipino basketball career, which Norman stole. So I'll probably say it was when, um, <laughs> when one game, I swear I dunked it. And it, uh, I, like, I, I went to dunk it, I grabbed the rim, and the ball bounced in the front rim, backboard, and in. So I counted as a dunk. I counted as a dunk. Do we have a video? Is there <laughs> footage? No, I'll, I'll find the video. Shout find out to the video. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll share it. We'll we'll post it. it. Yeah. I'll share it. I'll share all right, all right. it. So how Stay tuned, guys. How long have you guys been playing basketball for? Like, since you were uh, very young? Oh yeah, very young. I'd yeah. say... Um, yeah, yeah, uh, five, six. But actually, I didn't even take it seriously until grade eight, actually. Right. So, I mean, I was into other sports and stuff. And then, played with Corey Joseph. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. Talk, oh, talk yeah. about talk that. Talk about that. Like, <laughs> come on, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, Scarborough Blues. Shout out to Scarborough Blues. Yeah, yeah. I uh, played with uh, Corey Joseph. He was a teammate of mine. We actually won a provincial championship under 18. Mm -hmm. um, we played in the finals. We played against, I think, Brady Heslip, who is now playing for the Raptors 905 team. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I mean... He was just coming off his prep school championship game, which was a uh, Finlay prep. And uh, he came in, he came for the tournament, um, dominated, obviously, and uh, he was a big reason why we uh, won that championship. And Vince, uh, any, any, did you play with any, any NBA superstars? Jamal McGlure at YMCA. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> me and my boy, at, uh, my boy Jay Henry, who, put, who actually put me on basketball, he brought me to this team, so shout out to him. Uh, it was like grade eight, and then yeah, we. We always train together in the summer, and one summer Jamal McGlure was there, and uh, he, he blocked awesome. me without even jumping. So yeah. Well, since you guys, you know, since we talked about your highlight and your Filipino highlight career, yeah. now we want to hear since you guys actually, uh, I've heard that you guys brought us some highlights of NBA. So your yeah. favorite highlights this season, or in general, or the playoffs? What do you guys have? Like season or yeah, playoffs? I, I have season, uh, right? Playoffs. I think I'm going first. Yeah. You're going first, yeah. right? Okay, you want to tell us a little bit. Norman's going first, I think. Yeah. So. It's, Norman's gonna go first with his highlight. So tell us a little bit about your highlight and why do you think it's uh, it better than his? That's a, this was that's a, actually just, my highlight. That I brought up was actually just game five uh, in Toronto, uh, where uh, Powell he was having a great game throughout the whole game, mm -hmm. and then this dunk made me just you know just grab the remote. Just, I just left the room. <laughs> one of those, you know. So then uh, so he went baseline. I think Giannis was guarding him at the time. Uh, he drove baseline and Giannis was still in his hip. So I'm thinking, okay, Norman's just gonna. Uh, drive and kick or just, you know, draw pass to one of the bigs. But instead, uh, he saw a thought maker there helping as well. He just got up, challenged both of them, threw it down. And, and Johnny's a good defender. So like, look at that. Like, oh, my. Damn. Two seven-footers long. Just put it on their hands. Damn. That was, just, uh, that was just the one where it's like, that's, that that's a game. Do you think Giannis knew that he had that hard? No, I didn't think so, man. I thought he was even going thought, for the block. I didn't even thought, thought I was even expecting that, man. And so, do you feel like he was the key factor in terms of oh, like why they won for sure. that game? Yeah, he led the team in scoring that game. And yeah. Oh, I think, yeah, Storm and Norman, 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 <laughs> Storm and Norman. He, he dropped yeah, his Storm. career high, career high and playoff high. Yeah, 20, high, 25 yeah, points. Right. That's yeah. a big game. Career high, too? Yeah, and career harsh. high. He never yeah. scored 25 points before. But, yeah, I mean, that was one of the best, well, his best games. Yeah, and he yeah, is the X Factor when you we he need came him at the right time. Playoffs. Let Norm play. And Vince, how about your highlight? Oh, I, that was a little bit I didn't have much time to choose, but uh, I chose one of my favorite players this season, uh, IT. I call him. I'm a, actually also a, like an original Boston Celtics fan back in um, oh, with what? Uh, with uh, Antoine Walker or Paul Pierce? No, 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 Paul Pierce, KG, yeah. all of them. Paul Pierce, KG, but yeah, this yeah. is his move last night. <laughs> froze the guy. Froze the guy. Like frozen Elsa. He's been called. He's been. He's, he's been called out by Fred Horvath for yeah, like, like, carrying the ball. Do you feel like he's like, carrying it? Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Is this like the Iverson no, kind yeah, of rule that he that. has? And he left the press conference. Yeah. He just got. Yeah. He's, do you, 
I think I've been would, giving that Iverson kind of exception, yeah. where Iverson's been called out to to carry. Yeah, if you guys but watch his documentary on YouTube, yeah. he, he actually meets Iverson and gets his jersey signed by him, and Iverson says, like, this is why I did that, or yeah. whatever I did back then, is because yeah. I want guys like you to Dude. step up and be better. Yeah, I see and, that, like, yeah. I'm sure IT, you, I, he almost, yeah. or like, I don't know if he cried, but like, he yeah. actually felt really emotional <laughs> then. So let's talk about the Boston and then Bulls series. Yeah. Who, who do you guys think is going to come on top? I think at this point, I, I kind of, Boston's going to take it. Uh, yeah, th they're up, I think, 3-2 now. Yeah, 3-2. And uh, uh, I'm going to say Chicago, if Rondo plays. If there's no Rondo, then no Chicago. Yeah. Um, Did yeah. you guys, because I, I, I first thought that Jimmy Butler, Jimmy Butler was the best player coming out of this, in this series. Yeah. Do you guys feel like that has changed since just, you know, looking through the whole series? Because now it feels like it's either Isaiah or, like, Rondo could have been the more yeah. valuable player mm -hmm. in... Uh, I look, I look at it as matchups. I okay. mean, like, if I see an all-star like Isaiah, Isaiah yeah. Thomas matching up against Isaiah Cannon, mm -hmm. I'm going to look better. Yeah, okay, in this yeah. Sense, you have Rondo, better defender, longer, yeah. taller, more experienced. I see that. Because you know I saying? guess, so. like, you have in Boston, you have a guy like Jay Crowder and Avery Bradley that's kind of exactly. neutralizing Jimmy's game where, exactly, you know, yeah. he could have been he could have looked better if he had someone that can't play defense on him, exactly, right? Yeah. yeah. And so, what do you guys think about the Raptors series so far? It's done tonight. I hope I didn't jinx it, but tonight. it's done tonight. Well, by the time this airs, well, yeah, yeah. maybe it's done. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you, yeah. And you guys think they're going to beat, if they make it to the second round, how do you guys they think got, that they Cleveland, the Cavs, Cleveland, right? Cleveland and Raptors They got Raptor the Cavs series. waiting and they're, you know, just laying I'm down. I'm going to make a bold prediction. They're going to make it all the way to the finals. All right. Uh, I, I do actually think that they're yeah. the second. Now that I, if you watch that game that they had against the Bucks, game five, it made me think they are the second best team. I don't oh, think. Oh, for sure. For sure yeah, they for are. Sure. Just because of the matchup that, just the lineup that they have, they can go big or small. Mm -hmm. yep. exactly. Which is something that Boston can't do on, on the Cavs. Mm -hmm. Right? If they want to play on the system inside, like they can do it with JV and Ibaka, right? Mm -hmm. so. And I think every time they played Boston, DeMar had 40. Yeah. Mm -hmm. every time. Well, I don't, I don't yeah. know every time, but I think two out of the I four. think the same way uh, Paul Pierce called us out when we didn't have the it, like uh, one or two uh, two years ago when so we faced Washington. Like, we have it this No, this Boston doesn't have it okay. right now. Like, they have a good team, but I, I think they're, they are a little too young, not, yeah. um, but uh, I think Raptors. Uh, Raptors all the way. Who do you guys feel Raptors like is going gonna, to gonna be the key factor for Raptors to really overcome? A second round victory over if if they do make it the second round. Uh, Kyle Lowry. Kyle, yeah, yeah. yeah Who's your Kyle X Lowry. factor? Do you think that it's gonna be key? Kyle Lowry as well. Uh, X factor. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna say the bench. Yeah. Uh, not which just, one specifically? Uh, yeah. Specifically, I'm gonna say Norman Powell again. <laughs> uh, I mean, if, if he is it because his name is like. <laughs> not, I mean, like his energy again. Like, yeah. if no one can match his energy yeah. and intensity. There's no one on the Cleveland bench that can. Also, uh, PJ Tucker, I'd say, because he's because uh, we had we, we needed a LeBron neutralizer Carol, really Carol to it, stop yeah. LeBron, yeah. but now we got Carroll and we got PJ, PJ Tucker, yeah. who's like just like that yeah. old man D, just yeah. that old school they're, physical. They're, they're like the only two best defenders yeah. we have on. Exactly. I've noticed team. from history as well that in order to kind of put up a fight against a, a, you know where LeBron plays, you need a guy that can neutralize him, like not. You really slow him down and yeah. just really not yeah, yeah. stop yeah, just him. Just contain him. Yeah, because they've had that LeBron's with Kawhi. Get his, they've had that with Draymond, right? So yeah. that's kind of. Um, be before we end this segment, uh, you guys have been playing basketball for a long mm -hmm. time, and there's a lot of kids playing out now. Lots of Filipinos going to Filipino tournaments. What are your? Do you have any guys any advice to those kids that are watching on TV or online? Mm -hmm. Any advice to those uh, kids playing basketball now? Um, first, I'm going to say is. This, Stay in the gym, mm -hmm. uh, stay working on your game, you know, never never settle for anything, you know. There's always some, there's always a part of your game that you can always work on. Um, you know, and just, just you know, uh, focus on what you really want and just work on your game. There's no, I can't emphasize enough about working on your game. And that's it. Yeah, it's, uh, what I would say is what every coach says, like all those cliche things they say about working hard and uh, staying in the gym, being the first one in, last one out, stick to that. Cause like it's tried and true for like the last 60 years, a person who works hardest in the gym gets the best results, right? And uh, I always say the harder you work, the luckier you get, so. It's true. 